Hello, my name's Ian Grange, and in this demonstration, you'll see how SAP Analytics Cloud's reporting, analytics, data mining, and planning capabilities can all be brought to bear in an agricultural scenario for a pig farming company. You see, I've already logged in here to SAP Analytics Cloud, and on the front page of the portal, you can see I've already gathered together some bits of reports and stories that are of interest to me. I've also got access to my calendar, which tells me I've got some planning to start doing soon and also access to my other stories. So first thing that's catching my eye here is I can see that our gross margin is having some issues. It's been slowly decreasing over the last three years. So let's start off by taking a look at that. I'm opening up a story here, a dashboard, which gives me a view across my whole organization. So I can see some key metrics across the top, uh, gross margin versus last year, operating income, cost of goods sold, how many pigs we produce, what's the average weight uh, or pound per kilo uh, of animal that we produced. I've got a dash, I've got a, uh, a table here where I can start to drill in and out of my balance sheet. And I can see that cr uh, gross margin figure that we're interested in. I can drill down on that a little bit further here. And we actually get to see here, if I pull that up here, I can see, yes, that has definitely been dropping over the last few months. And if I drill into that, I can see things like my cost of goods sold have been increasing and my total sales are starting to drop off a little. So this is obviously something I'd want to do something about. I can also see here I've got some feedback from other people in my organization. Uh, someone saying that the margins need to be addressed, but also some worrying comments coming in via blockchain. And I should take a look at the customer feedback page. So this story is made up of multiple pages. So let's go and look at that feedback. So we can see some feedback has been gathered from our products here, uh, possibly using some blockchain capabilities uh, put onto the packaging uh, of what we've been sending out. And I can see here that my average ratings, there's quite a few bad ratings here, and those ratings have definitely been slowly decreasing here. We've got a word cloud here, picking out some of the highlights in terms of comments that we've had from our customers. And we've got some more detail down the side here. I can also start to see where these issues are coming from we may be capturing some geographic information uh, about the people who are making comments. So for example, here I notice down here in the southwest, I can go to this particular map, zoom in a little bit here to see a particular area. Looks like there seems to be a particular problem uh, around the Bristol area. I could, if I wanted to, use just those points as a filter on the report that I'm looking at. So I can filter everything else I'm looking here and I can see that yes, I'm definitely just getting bad comments coming from this particular area or mostly bad comments. This is obviously something I'd want to do something about. Now, one of the things about Analytics Cloud is it's a, an environment where people can um, collaborate together. So I could start up a new discussion here with some of my team members to go and take a look at this. So let's create a new discussion here. I can go and find someone. Let's go and search for my colleague, Dan. I could ask them to take a look at this. And I could also supply a link to the report that I'm talking about so they know what to go and take a look at. So we can immediately collaborate here over content here I'm doing it as a story, but as you can see, I can also add comments to data points inside the story. Okay, so we've looked at an existing report here, but what if I wanted to start to do some investigation of my own here? So I'm gonna go off here and start to create my own story. So I'll go to the stories menu, and I'm going to create uh, a canvas report here where I can start to lay out my report on the screen. I'll just turn off the discussions. First thing I want to do is add some data here. So I can go and search here through my uh, data that's available to me. I know I've got a data set somewhere. Uh, let's look for farm production. And I've got some farm production data here for the pig and fish group. So this is a data set that's already been prepared for me. You can see I've got a number of measures I can start to look up in the corner here. 
Obviously, the one that I'm particularly interested in from looking at my dashboard earlier is the net margin. But we've got a number of other dimensions here we can look at. If I turn them all on, I can see things as a time dimension here, for example. Uh, so I could say, OK, I want to see time as part of this chart. I can see how this has changed through time. I could also get other dimensions like what diets we were giving our animals, uh, whether they ever got ill, whether they got scours, how much straw and bedding they had, ventilation, water, etc. So there are a number of things here that could affect uh, how profitable uh, each of these animals are. So I could grab one of these if I wanted to use it. So maybe the finisher diet here. I can see that go through time. It's automatically picking what it thinks is the best way to display this information. But if I want, I could change it to something else, maybe a stacked bar column here. And let's just take a look at that uh, going through time. So I can start to create my own charts. And I could take what I've created here, copy it uh, back into the story that I was looking at there. Now, of course, I could just stay in that slicing and dicing environment and try to work out, well, what is it that's having the biggest impact on net margin? And I could try and drag in each of those dimensions to work it out. But why, why do I do that now when I can get the system to help me? So there's a couple of things I can do here. I could either add a smart insight to the report that I'm looking at here, and this will load some insights onto the chart that I'm looking at at the moment or the chart I've just created. It's telling me which of my quarters have the highest net margin uh, and uh, what has the biggest impact on that number. But of course, what I'd really like is for the system to have a look at all of the data and come back and tell me what's going on. So what I'm going to run here is a smart discovery and say, I'd like to understand what is driving, what the impactors are on net margin. I'd like to do that across the IDs of all of our animals. I can also choose, you know, do I want all of these columns to be included in this analysis? So for example, here, there's not much point in analyzing slaughter weight as that's something that happens afterwards. What I'm interested in is what impacts uh, before. So I can now run this. So what the system is doing now is it's going and looking at all of those dimensions of data. It's using data mining techniques to go through, analyze that data, and it will tell me and build me a story to help me discover what it is that's having the biggest impact on net margin. So the system has built for us here a report that gives us an overview of that net margin and tells us about the drivers behind it. So here, for example, we can see what our total net margin is, uh, what the distribution of that net margin, pound per kilogram of dead weight, etc., is, uh, and how many animals there were uh, that met that particular price. So I can see here that most of our animals come in at around £12.50, but some were making a little more, some were making a little less. I can also see how that net margin has changed through time, and also here, getting a future prediction as to, or forecast as to how that number might change into the future. But what I'm really interested in are these key influencers. So here, for example, it's telling me here are the top 10 key influencers of net margin, and it's highlighted the top three. Now, at the top here is the FCR, the feed conversion ratio. That's hardly surprising. That's basically looking at how much feed do we give to an animal? What would be the impact on its growth? But it's now telling me there are two more things that are having an impact. Finish a diet, so the last feed that we give to the animals, and also whether the animal became ill or not, whether it catch, caught pneumonia. If I want to understand one of these, I can say, okay, what impact does finish a diet have on that? And looking down the bottom here, I can see these are the different diets I have, KLMNO, and I can see that diet N has a significant impact on the profitability and the gross margin of each of our animals. So certainly this is something I'd want to look at in the future, is maybe giving more of that particular feed into our animals. Okay, let's go back to the home screen. I could obviously save this and share this with some of my colleagues. Now on the front screen here, I can also see um, some information about the capacity across our farms and where those 
uh, capacity where we might have some more space. Obviously, I want to make sure I make the biggest use of the uh, space that I have. So let's go and take a look at this report to find out a bit more about uh, what's actually happening down on the farms. You notice there I'm setting a couple of variables which will be used as part of the calculations we'll be doing later on. So maybe I will be feeding uh, market prices, for example, into this. So I can see here, for example, uh, where I've got some capacity. Um, I'm seeing that this is over a number of years. Maybe we'll just take off one year and look at uh, what's going on. I can see what's the average amount of weight we've got uh, come average pound per kilogram across each of our farms across different types of farms maybe I'm just interested in outdoor farming and again I can filter that there again you also see I'm getting a prediction into the future as to what we think that average pound per kilogram per week might be going into the future let's go and take a look at one of those farms in more detail so if we go to our farm details now those capacity figures here, we're seeing that one of our farms, uh, Iron River Farm, uh, group number two, currently the capacity is running a bit low. We're not making the best use of the space that we have there. So I could go and drill into that a bit further. Let's go and look at that farm capacity. Again, I'll just focus in here on group two. And I get a nice diagram here, which is actually showing me what the capacity has been on a daily basis uh, for the current month. So I can see that, you know, for most of the month, uh, up to the 27th, it was quite, uh, the, uh, the uh, group was quite full. We have a few grey days here. That was probably for a cleaning cycle. But then after that, and going into the future, we've got a bit more capacity. So maybe that's something I'd want to, again, use the uh, collaboration capabilities to talk to my colleagues about. OK, now let's take a look at a little bit of planning. Here you can see I've been dropped into a grid where I can start to do some detailed planning on future spend in my farms. Down the side here, you can see metrics like the average income per pig and the expenditure and how that's broken down. So feed cost, environment, utilities, welfare, etc. Earlier, we were talking about the fact that we noticed that our pigs becoming ill with pneumonia, pneumonia uh, was causing an issue. So I could decide here, for example, to increase our spending uh, on uh, treatment for pneumonia by 10% to try and improve the profitability there. And you can immediately see the change here to my plan numbers going into the future. But to a certain extent there, I've kind of guessed as to what might make an improvement there. We can be more scientific about this. We have an option here to use the predictive capabilities of SAP Analytics Cloud to create a predictive forecast for the future. So I can say, use my actual data for the last couple of years, you know, which is good, useful data, and use that to produce a predictive plan for my electricity costs for the next few months. Let's preview that. So that will build a predictive forecast based on what's been happening in the past. And here you can see it's produced now a future plan based on historical uh, precedent. So rather than guessing, I can use that existing data to improve the quality of my forecasting and planning into the future. Let's take those values and apply them to our plan. And again, I can see that plan going forward into the future. Now here we're looking at this data in a grid format. But of course, this is sometimes quite difficult to understand exactly when I make a change in one part of the model, what the impact might be elsewhere. So a more intuitive way to look at this information would be to use what we call a VDT, a value driver tree. Here I can start to take a look at how all of these different metrics would start to impact on each other. So we can see that margin percentage here and how that is changing through time. We can see that margin is made up of the average income per pig and the expenditure per pig. The expenditure is made up of feed costs, environment, utilities, etc., which are broken down further into gas, electricity. And at the top here, we can see our sale price and what the slaughter weight might be. So we can go in and we can start to change some of these. So, for example, I might decide into the future I'm going to increase my feed amount 
by 10%. And I can immediately see the change that that would have going back through the entire tree, through the feed cost to the expenditure and the impact that it might make on margin. And also the charts over here on the right hand side here as well. I can also see what my actual and my difference between my actual and my plan might be. And notice here, I'm still showing some positive growth on my plan. That was just a short demonstration of the use of SAP Analytics Cloud in a farming environment, looking at some reporting, some analytics, data mining and planning capabilities. To find out more, go to sap.com.